Review Tech USA did a thing um, that people are talking about. Review Tech's account is over 15 years old. It's one of the oldest. Um, did this really get deleted? Am I blocked? From an account that no longer exists? No way. <laughs> he deleted his Twitter account. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. Um, ah, oh, jeez, bro. Okay, let me pull up my account, because I took a screenshot of it. I'm not even blocked. He deleted his whole fucking account. Uh, so, Review Tech USA, a guy I, I don't know very much about, but who's like the pet lol cow of the Kino Casino, and he, he's getting a lot more attention nowadays, because he's acting like such a retard all the fucking time. Um, but he went ahead... And deleted his account. As I mentioned, his account is 15 years old. It's a very old account. And more importantly, it had over a million subscribers. So he deleted the account. Um, and from what people people were very quickly thinking, is this like a Twitter thing? Can he like undelete it later? From what people were saying, you can't undelete a YouTube account. Once you file it, it's like it deletes all the videos. It's all gone forever. So bye uh, bye. So it's like 15 years of content that apparently people liked um, back in the day is just off YouTube forever because of this choice and you can't bring it back. And I listened to the stream after he announced it and his excuses for doing it were weird sounding to me. I, I, I didn't buy it, but I didn't quite understand what his motivation could have been. Um, he was saying that the residual income was pennies, that his channel wasn't going anywhere, that he hated making the content for it, that he thought about selling it, but it's against YouTube's terms of service. And the way that when you sell an account these days, like this was his main thing. He would have sold it, but because YouTube just bans people who sell accounts, you have to post content along with the new content. There has to be like a transition period. So literally, he didn't want to sell the account and make the money that a million subscribers was worth because he would still have to put out review tech videos for a couple months as the video uh, progressed over to the new format by the new owners. And he couldn't be asked to even do that, even to do just a couple more review tech USA videos during that transition period. So he just deleted it, which is already ridiculous. But then as he was talking and he was ranting, he's like, yeah, the, the, you know, people say that some of the content makes money forever with ad rev. You know how much money review tech USA was making? It was making $600 a month, a pittance. And it was like shit talk. Like, Motherfucker, six hundred dollars is like half your rent. Six hundred dollars is like your grocery bills for an entire month, and you're gonna sit there and gonna be like, six hundred dollars wasn't even worth the the effort to keep the account up, which requires no effort at all. Like, are you fucking retarded? Uh, the answer is yes, by the way. But it was explained on the forum his real motivation. One of the things that Pay 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 and Andy Worski have been counting down for months at this point is that review tech had been losing subscribers and he was about to uh finally dip under the one m and go back into the the six figures so instead of having the uh humility to just eat the subscriber loss and keep making a free six hundred dollars a fucking month every month for doing literally fucking nothing he deleted the account so that ppp couldn't make fun of him for going under a million subscribers that was his motivation i thought that was fucking funny that is r imagine if because you take 600 times it by 12 what do you get right um that's a good question seventy two hundred dollars uh a, a year which in case any of you are adults um in the u.s you'll know that that's your uh your irs contributions you can take that money each month and dump it into your your ira max out your contributions and if it's a traditional ira you don't even pay tax on it it's six hundred dollars a month tax free to max out your irs contributions every year and ppp troll dickers into deleting a free fully maxed out ira contribution every year he they took away his retirement account if you if you think about it like that it's even funnier like <laughs> it's just it's just like how do you fuck up that bad just let the account go over under 1 million subscribers you don't care about it anyways why does it matter so 
really, 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 really funny. Classic, classic low-cal behavior. Just utterly shooting yourself in the foot for literally no gain in, in some weird convoluted thought process that somehow spites somebody who doesn't, obviously is going to keep making fun of them regardless. Uh, just great. Excellent. Uh, primo content. Um, the other thing that he was talking about on the stream, and his stream is so fucking boring. It's like, it's, he's just like a smug asshole, and he, he just sits there like a fucking beanbag chair. A human beanbag chair, just smugly condescending and, and talking about, like, talking out of his ass. It's just insufferable to listen to. Um, oh, how, what he wants to do. So he still wants to do his review tech talks, like his stream. He has like a much, much smaller streaming channel and he talks about how he wants to get into political commentary this motherfucker deleted his irs ira contributions for free every year so he could go into the extremely blue ocean undersaturated the people crave political commentary youtubers these days there's not enough of them the, truly there's there could never be enough political commentary youtubers uh, to fill the void so he's going to throw himself selflessly into that market, that niche, that craves another strong, independent voice and political commentary. And then what's funny is that he, it's not even like he has strong takes, because what he was saying in this video was that he intends to learn. He's going to look some things up. Like, you're a 40-fucking-year-old man. He's older than that. It's like, if you have strong, informed political commentary to give, you should already be at the point where you've developed these opinions and know what you're talking about. Like, the years to practice for um, to become the, the, the samurai was, you know, 20 years ago. Uh, it just, it's just absolutely delusional. Like, you're not going to be Hassan Piker. Are you fucking retarded? What is some fat retard stoner living in God knows where going to have to possibly offer anyone? He's never worked a day in his life. <laughs> how, how could he possibly think that he has something to offer people? So, yeah, just humiliating. Absolutely fucking embarrassing behavior. Utterly shameless. Um, and apparently, apparently he, do, to make his, um, political commentary, he doesn't even need his Twitter account. Oh, you're going to run your political commentary empire with no social media presence? Like, why do you think Destiny has his Twitter account? Because that, that's how he farms engagement. That's how he gets people looking at his streams. That's how he baits people into live debates where he can, uh, get, uh, another audience to l listen to him for the first time. And like, you're going to mastermind this from... From, you know, the shadows? I don't think so. <sighs> we have quartering at home. That's right. I don't know. I just found the whole thing just fucking preposterous. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how they did it. They Because they also... One of the things that uh, PPP did was that... Or Andy Worski made, like, an offhand comment that Dickers had... Photos of his... Uh, I think he's a... St correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not up to date on this. If I remember this correctly, Dickers is in a relationship, and he has stepdaughters that are, like, teenage-aged. Um, and he has, like, photos of... Maybe it's, it's just his own children from his previous wife. I'm not sure what the exact relationship was. But Andy Worski just made a joke that he probably has pictures of these kids that he has some indirect relationship to on in his Dropbox in like swimsuits and stuff and it was so true that dickers responded to this by freaking out and saying that andy worski hacked him and that's how he knew about the swimsuit photos <laughs> so um he just randomly like without any sort of provocation whatsoever i don't think this was like a four million iq play by andy worski it was just like a shitty joke and then he just responds by like saying yeah it's all true it's like oh oh great <laughs> good job buddy and that's that was months ago. The swimsuit thing was months ago, and I remember when it happened. And then it somehow let like it um like the the breakfast machine like the do 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 and somehow months later leads to Review Tech USA wiping out his IRA contributions for the year every year for the rest of his life and um shutting down his Twitter account and deciding that he's going to become the next Hassan Piker at forty five years old and four hundred fifty pounds. Just uh. Fucking fascinating.
Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Dolphin. Remember to like and subscribe.